Our study of probability and statistics would be a miss if we didn't have a section on general probability. So when we talk about probability, we have two main types. We have experimental and theoretical. Now experimental probability is the likelihood of an event occurring, again, based on past performance. Now anytime we start talking about probability, we have a simple form of notation that we use for this. So probability is the probability of some event I'm going to call E is equal to and probabilities are always given as a number the number is between 0 and 1 inclusive the closer it is to 1 the more likely it is to occur now sometimes you'll see that decimal number converted into a percentage and that is okay also but based on what we're looking at here, the probability of an event occurring is the number of times it has occurred divided by the number of trials. And when I say trials here, I mean the number of attempts that were taken in order to get the event to occur in the first place. So let's look at a situation. A basketball player has made 32 of her past 47 free throws. She's now stepping up to the line for another free throw. What is the probability of her making this shot? So what we need to do is say probability of goal because that's what will happen if she makes the shot, she will score a goal, is equal to the number of times that she has succeeded. So that's 32. Divided by the number of trials that she's had. And so far she's had 47. Now if you go through and divide this out, rounding off to the nearest thousandth, we get 0.681. In other words, she has a 68.1% chance of making the, this next free throw. Probability, experimental probability like this is used a lot in sports and in gambling situations. So it's important to understand where they're coming from. When you start taking the idea of what has happened in the past or what you found and putting it out to future events or to larger groups, this is when probability starts to make the jump into statistics, which we will be getting to in this unit of study. So after we talk about experimental probability, we have to come up with the idea, or we have to realize the situation where not all items that we want to look at can really be experimented with, like playing a game. So, what we're going to do is we have what are called simulations. Now, a simulation is a controlled model of an event with the same chances of happening. For instance, if you are trying to collect items, my children like to collect items at local fast food establishments when they get their kids meals, and what's the probability of getting 10 items all 10 items that are being offered in 11 visits. So we'd have to set up some sort of experiment that has the equal chance of being selected as a 1 out of 10. A lot of times when we start looking at simulations, we use random number generators to simulate what's happening. And if what you're looking at does not have a 1 in 10 or a 1 in 100, 1 in 1,000 chance of occurring, you use the numbers that you can, and the numbers that you can't use, you ignore. So I have here a set of numbers. This is a set of, I believe, 100 random numbers, all generated between 0 and 99. And calculators, a lot of calculating systems, are designed to generate random numbers like this. So what I have here is I'm going to pick a location to begin with and I'm going to take that and answer the question what is the probability of selecting a family with two children that are both male 
So what we have to do is establish the rules before we begin. What we will do is we will pick a random place in the setup in order to um, begin. That way we're not always beginning with the same number. And we have to set up what it is before. So we can, the likelihood of having a child that is male or female is about 50-50. And the numbers that are generated between 0 and 9 are evenly split. You could say 0 through 5 represents male, 6 through 9 represents, oh sorry, 0 through 4 represents male, 5 through 9 represents female. You could say odd represents male, even represents female, or whatever you want. So in this situation, what I'm going to say is odd equals male, and even represents female. Now, I'm going to select a location at random, which means I'm going to close my eyes and use my pointer to place on the chart, and I landed at 58, so I'm going to underline that. And then I'm going to look. So 58, that's one odd, one even, so that does not happen. I'm going to say no. Next one, 18. No. Next one, 84. That's both female, but not both male. That's no. 8, that's a 0 and an 8, so that's no. 74, no. 94, no. 94, no again. So from what I'm seeing here, it does not happen very often that both children would be male. Now that is one experiment. Let me go through and try this again, selecting somewhere else in the set. And I selected the 84. So I'm going to circle that one. 84 is a no, 30 is a no, 54, 64, or sorry, 6, 20, 41. Again, we're going through quite a ways, but once we get down here to 33, there's an occurrence where we, I would have two males. Now, if I had reversed these, one male, um, odds being female, evens being male, it would have happened. So what's the probability of selecting a family with two children that are both male? Here, it's looking that our chances, our probability is pretty small. So, establish the rules. If you have extra numbers, ignore them and go through and conduct your experiment. Now, along with experimental and simulated probabilities, we have what are called theoretical probabilities as well. Now, theoretical probabilities are mathematically computed likelihoods of an event occurring. This is where you say, okay, from the situation, we have A out of B attempts. So, we have to build these up based on situations that we see happening around us. What is the probability of drawing a 7 from a deck of cards? The probability in these situations is the probability of how many items exist divided by how many items... So, sorry, let me do this. Probability of the event E equals the probability of success divided by probability of all. So what's the probability of drawing a 7 from a deck of cards? So the probability of a 7 is equal to, in a deck of cards we have 4 7s and there are 52 cards in total. So 4 out of 52 simplifies down to be 1 out of 13 and doing that division real quick 1 out of 13 is about 7.7 percent of the time so if you have a deck of cards shuffled and you randomly pick one about seven and a half seven point seven percent of the time you should draw a seven what's the probability of rolling doubles on a pair of fair dice so the probability of doubles is equal to, well, 
You can have double ones, double twos, double threes, double fours, double fives, or double sixes. There are six of them. And all ways of rolling two dice, there are 36 in total. This comes out to be one out of six when we reduce it, which means there is a 16.7% chance of rolling doubles. What's the probability of drawing a three of clubs from a deck of cards? So the probability of a three of clubs. Well, there's only one of those in the entire deck, so it's one out of 52. And doing that division real quick to turn into a percentage, we get about 1.9% of the time. So this is theoretical probability. Now, the last thing we have when we're talking probability in general is looking at what are called combinatorics and with it a little bit of geometric probabilities. So combinatorics states that when we're going to build our sample spaces or look at the likelihood of something occurring, we can use our fundamental counting principle, our combinations and permutations that we studied earlier to find the probability of an event happening. So what's the probability of being dealt a four of a kind with five randomly dealt cards from a deck? So the probability of four of a kind, which means four of the same type of card, is going to equal. So that means when we're looking at it, I want four of the same card, doesn't matter what it is. So I'm going to be doing four, choose four, because in a deck of cards of any one type of card, any ace, any king, any seven, there's four of them. And then my fifth card, I don't care, so I have 48, choose one, all divided by 52 cards, choose five. The five cards on the bottom are broken out into their types up top. Four of the same kind, one of something else. Now, four choose four. There's one way to do that. Forty-eight choose one. There are forty-eight ways of doing that. Divided by fifty-two choose five. And when we compute fifty-two choose five, we get two million five hundred ninety-eight thousand. 960 ways of doing it. So when we simplify that, we get this coming out to be about 0.002%. So if you're somebody who likes to play poker, the likelihood of getting four of a kind, a very high hand, is less than one, uh, well, it is about two one thousandths of a percent of the time that it would happen. Now, geometric probability says that we're looking at areas of occurrences. So I have shown here the picture of a backboard with dimensions for an NBA hoop. What's the probability of throwing a basketball at random and hitting the small rectangle immediately above the hoop? The hoop is the blue section. So the probability of hitting that small rectangle is going to be its area divided by the area of the entire item. So we have, converting this into centimeters, instead of everything in meters, we'll have 59 centimeters times 45 centimeters divided by 180 centimeters times 105 centimeters. Now going through and multiplying this, we get 2,655 square centimeters for the rectangle. And the back backboard overall is 10,800 square centimeters. Now dividing that out and converting it into a percentage, we get that this is about 14.0%. So this rectangle here represents 14% of the overall backboard, so we have a 14% chance of hitting that if we were to randomly 
throw a basketball at this hoop. So general ideas of probability should be review from items that you learned all the way back to fifth or sixth grade math, but important for moving forward. Make sure you have these down because next we're going to be talking about the probability of multiple events occurring and it's based on this.